<laughs> hey guys, welcome to Inside the Hem. This is Amber. I'm Lindsay. And Abby. Today we're going to share with you some of our favorite notions and talk a little bit about why we pick them. So I'm going to start with um, my first one and these are going to be our top three favorites. Okay. So this is my favorite, which is my rotary cutter and I wish I had gotten it sooner because cutting used to be my least favorite part of the sewing process, but this makes it so much faster. It's also got like a rubberized handle, so it's kind of easy to grip. It doesn't hurt my hands like scissors do. This one's also really cool because it's got like a safety guard, so unless you're pressing down on it, you can't cut yourself, which is something I would do. It's also got a lock, and it's got two settings, a light and a heavy depending on what type of fabric you're cutting. Um, so you can switch that. It's pretty easy to change the blade, which I've had to do, and um, buy refills. So this is my favorite thing. Yeah, we'll leave a link in the comments to that yeah. particular one since it seems like not all rotary cutters are pretty people. Yeah, I did yeah. some research and this had good reviews. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then a thing you want to get with it is a cutting mat. So rotary. Yeah. yeah. You got it from Amazon though? Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. Alright, mine is a pressing ham, and if you've never seen one of these before, it is basically like a wool type fabric and a cotton type fabric, and it's stuffed, um, and it's pretty hard, and you use this to um, press curved seams, so it's really good for sleeves, or I really like it for princess seams, because you know you have to get the bust line so perfect. But um, it had the one, the two different fabrics. One side is for like high heat and lots of steam, and the other side is for like when you need to use lighter heat. Hmm. I actually did not know that. Really? Yeah. No. Um, did not know there was two different the sides. Fabric on the same. On but the you same made yours, right? It was a gift, but yeah. Yeah. So you can make these yourself. It's really yeah. just like an egg shaped. Thing. You can even kind of see where yeah. they um, hand stitched it closed here. Um, a lot of people use scraps, scraps to yeah. stuff inside too. So that's like mm -hmm. a good way to use up mm -hmm. some teeny tiny scraps that you don't want yeah. for any other reason. But yeah, it's really great for sewing on curved seams. Um, it makes it a lot easier and you don't burn yourself as much. So that is a bonus. I got mine a secret so the girls can I can tell. I feel like big unveiling Let's see here. see what first. I think the one I'll share the one I use the most. Yeah, they're all here. My friction pens. I love these pens so much. <laughs> I um, you can get them in a lot of places. I've actually never looked for them at a place like Joann's or Hancock's. I know my local shop sells them, um, but I got a big set of them on Amazon. Um, they come in every single color, which I actually do find I need all these colors because I like pretty colorful fabric. Um, but they come in ballpoint pen, so you get a really nice dart. I always use the ballpoint for um, when I'm drawing a line for a dart. They also have highlighter ones, which are good for a thicker, quick kind of line. Um, and what's so great about the friction pens is they disappear when you iron them, so you don't have to worry about a mark. Um, you don't have to wash it out. But you do want to be careful when using these and spot test your fabric, because I use them on some fabrics um, and just the test piece and it left a white mark behind. Um, the white mark would come out when I washed it, but you just want to be careful and make sure you don't use it on a fabric that they'll leave a mark behind. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, you gotta love a good pen. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Those are great too. Like I bought a set just because you told me about them. I hadn't even ah. heard of them too. And yeah. I have Click Lens. It's the same brand, same Click company, nice. but it like clicks down. And I only have three colors. I have red, black, and blue. And so far that's worked pretty well mm -hmm. for anything so yeah. Yeah. cool so, good. so my forgot. next tool mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. sticking with the like cutting theme are these little thread snips and um these i've gotten more recently i think i bought them last year and it's got a nice little safety cap so i don't which i would myself. lose immediately <laughs> <laughs> um and then it's got a nice rubber comfy grip too um you just you know, put your Amber's not gonna have any arthritis ever. With I know. All of her comfort <laughs> yes. Grips. Yes. Comfort. No, grip. I don't. I type all day at work. Yeah, and that's so true. I wanted something anyway. Um, you can get like really close and accurate with them. Um, and so they work really well. I like these a lot. So happy with the threads. Cool. Nice. 
sticking with the ironing theme, I guess we need to have our own themes going yeah. here. I have a Taylor's clapper. And this is basically a piece of wood that has been just shaped and sanded down really well. Um, and what this is for is um, when you need to get like a thicker fabric to have like a really crisp um, fold in it with a, with a hem or a pleat or anything like that, um, you'll put, you'll apply a lot of steam to the fabric and then you'll place this over top and it's pretty heavy. So it'll be weighted and apparently the science behind it is the wood is not finished. It's raw wood and so the wood absorbs the steam faster but keeps the heat in the fabric. And so that's what creates that really crisp, nice um, fold in whatever you're doing. So it works really well if you've got like a jacket lapel, like this doesn't have one, but um, or even this one, this jacket that I'm wearing here, you know, you had to fold over this little like facing, this self facing. So it got this seam here really crisp. Jeans, it's really, yeah. really mm -hmm. good on for those pockets because you have to fold over all those little edges. But yeah, I find myself using this a lot and I really think it makes a difference. I don't think it's like just an illusion. Um, but yeah, Taylor's yeah. Clapper. Yeah, that definitely helped. When I was doing my jeans, I don't have one of those, but I borrowed yours. Mm -hmm. And I was doing the belt loops to like smash them flat. Mm -hmm. So much nicer. You could tell yeah, the difference yeah. too. Good. Yeah. Awesome. What you got? All right. Next, I have kind of a recent discovery um, within the last year. It is a buttonhole cutter. Um, it's by Clover. Um, I love things with buttons, but I absolutely think the worst part is picking them out. Um, it just takes forever. It just looks sloppy to me. It never looks like a store-bought buttonhole. And then, I don't even know how I came across this thing. Probably just playing around on Amazon. Um, but you just put a, you could even use this. You put your fabric <laughs> under there and you, you have to be very careful, of course, because you can snip your threads and then bye-bye buttonhole. Bye-bye um, garment. Bye-bye garment. There's no going back from that. But this thing is amazing. It makes the whole process so much easier and they look so clean. I mean, they look like a store-bought buttonhole when you use this, so. So it's almost like imagining like a guillotine cut versus like mm -hmm. a saw. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it just looks all frayed when Have you used one? Yeah, I bought one too because she recommended it and I, um, I've used it quite a lot actually and found like I kind of just, I have the, you know, fabric and I kind of actually just do this on top of my desk so mm -hmm. I have a little dink on the desk, but, <laughs> um, and I just kind of, you know, press it down vertically and then I kind of I, I roll shake it, it back yep. and forth a little, a little bit, bit and I can like hear it. Yes, you cutting. can hear it yeah. catch. That's yes. going to be satisfying. Mm -hmm. Crisp and clean. Nice. <laughs> yes. So definitely better than like accidentally ripping with your... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gosh, it just, I mean, it can take hours to... Mm -hmm. Especially when, I mean, I made that, that Deer and Joe Bruyere, yeah. I don't know how you pronounce it, it's French, um, buttons all the way down the um, oh, Frame Life Studio. studio. Um, Alder, Alder, Alder is the dress. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, that's a lot of buttonholes to pick out. True. Okay, this is my last one. I knew you were going to bring those. I know. <laughs> um, and this, actually, I just threw them in like an old crystal light container. Just any, the container, these, the ones that I bought came with is like super hard to open. So, um, these are my Wonder Clips. And this one's actually by Clover, but I think there are a couple other brands who sell the same thing. But it's just like a little tiny clip. I know some people use those like black bulldog clips that um, like an office supply store has. Mm -hmm. But these are really nice. They actually have little like measuring increments on the back too. No, we yeah. see. Oh, I do. Never I never knew that. that. Wow. Like there's like a little, you know, yeah. like those two lines. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but they're great for applying bias binding and it's also great for heavy fabrics like denim um, or like a leather. I would just yeah, test anything it. That you yeah. mm -hmm. um, sometimes it leaves like a little mark so I would test it on a leather but denim it's great for putting all those thick layers together and then um, also when you're surging like if I make a pair of like leggings or yoga pants I, I'll just clip them and run it through the serger and it's so much faster and just 
Also really good if you're into making bags, which if you are, you've probably already found wonder clips because it can be very hard to pin through yeah. those thick layers mm -hmm. of interfacing. Um, so I picked, this is actually a three-in-one item. It is a point turner, you can see here. So like on this jacket hem, for example, has a self-facing, so you obviously sewed it right sides together and you need to pull this out and then you need to put something in there to get this point nice and perfect right before you press it using your tailor's clapper. Um, but it also has a ruler on there, which you can use for like seam allowances. Um, and then thirdly, it is a button gauge. Um, do you guys know what a button gauge does? Yeah, <laughs> I've never used one like that. <laughs> oh, you haven't? So basically it just allows for some space between the bottom of the button and the top of your fabric so you can actually wrap the button around it. So there is um, a smaller one and a thicker one. Um, so those are really it makes the button shank handy. Yeah. And coincidentally, you can also use this as a hump jumper. So if you if like your presser foot is like pointing up, um, you can stick this under the back end and it'll help it level, level out level with level. the fabric. Get over a thick seam that... Yeah, I mean, it's definitely work. not um, marketed as that, but it could it be. Perfect. What about you? What's your last one? My last one is this pressing cloth. I actually won this in a giveaway um, from a fashionable stitch, which I, her shop, I'm pretty sure, is completely closed up by now, but she had an online shop that had really nice notions, things you don't find, um, like at Joann's. Um, so this was something I picked out with the money. I had one from her shop and it's just silk organza, but it protects any kind of fabric from the heat of the iron. So I actually used it when making this, um, top right here because of the lace, um, you know, lace can melt under the iron. So I just put this on and you press. I really like that it's see-through so you can see what you're doing. You can see what you're pressing. Um, you could use any type of cloth to press, but this one is supposed to be the best. So. so is that sold as a pressing cloth or is you yes. can just buy any scrap of silk organza? You could buy silk organza, yes, but this she had marketed as a pressing cloth on her. Interesting. Shop. Yeah. My pressing cloth is, with, I just got it from like the laundry section at Target and it's just, it's like a nylon net. It's like a wider, it's like the holes are bigger. Yeah. So I don't know what the benefit of one or the other is, but she was sure really sound about... Luxurious notions that were really nice quality so I am trusting that there's a reason why <laughs> yeah what do you use she sold this. I actually just have like an old towel like it's a it's just cotton like a flat one I can't see through it which would be nice if I upgraded mm -hmm. but um yeah so nothing fancy cool <laughs> well that does it for the notions mm -hmm. thanks for watching and be sure and uh, subscribe so that you can um See our next video next week. Yep. Yes. You can also follow us on all of the social accounts um, if you want to just know what we're up to and get a sneak peek into our next video. Mm -hmm. But leave in the comments below what your favorite notion is. We would yes. love to hear from you guys. Um, we read all the comments and um, would just like to see maybe you will teach us something new that would be, be awesome. awesome i would love to find a new notion from one of you guys in the comments so definitely leave it there yes anything else abby um well the pizza guy just brought some pizza <laughs> so time to go yeah to eat. but the we'll, pizza uh, is we'll leave me. links down at the <laughs> bottom so that you yeah. can um see places where you can try and find these if you're interested yes, absolutely without a doubt until mm -hmm. next time thank you all bye, bye.